welcome to my channel. This is Steph. And as you can see from the clips of my hair, it is time to get this hair styled. So before I get started on my video, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know I really would greatly appreciate it. So I'm gonna be using some main choice products to style my hair. Main Choice, I really love their brand. I've been using them for, I'm not sure how long I've been using their products for. Well, for some years now, probably since the beginning of my natural hair journey, I would say. Especially that original styling gel, um, some of their leave-ins. I've, I've been using them for a while. But I am using something new and um, some things that are not so new. So for my leave-in today, I'm going to be using from the exotic Kool-Aid line. This is from their Black Friday sale. This is the Sweet Papaya and Pineapple Infinite Conditioner. And it's one of those I'm probably sure you can use a ton of ways, yeah. Co-wash, leave-in, detangler, rinse out, or a pre-poo. Five ways, but I'm going to be using it as a leave-in. Mm, interesting smell. Tropical, but not like fresh, fresh tropical. I smell that pineapple, but you know pineapple scented fragrance um it's okay it's not my favorite scented product from them it, just being honest yeah so what is this supposed to do let's see um the sweet papaya is supposed to be rich in minerals and bioflavonoids the pineapple reduces damage from environmental stressors loads and loads of slip to help undo tangles and knots. I love loads and loads of slip. Deliciously removes unhealthy impurities. Nutrient-rich antioxidant formula helps sustain healthy hair integrity. Lusciously seals cuticle to enhance the shine. Leaves hair pleasantly soft and silky smooth. Y'all reinforces hair strength to minimize breakage. Formulated to dispense and lock in deluxe moisture and superior protection. Designed to help to minimize moisture loss and is for all hair types. Y'all, the whole that was a whole book right there on all of the things that it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be now also gentle for every day, moisture shine. Y'all, it's a ton of stuff that it's supposed to do. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm boring you with that. Infused with biotin and vitamin D. And this is in the, their typical eight ounce containers for their leave-in conditioners. I do love their leave-in conditioners. I've used a few of them in the past and I usually don't have any issues with them. I am going to use an oil as, oh, I fell in the sink. I'm gonna use an oil as well. This is though from their Proceed with Caution line, Killer Curls, Brutal Bounce, Dangerous Luster and Shine Illuminator, and it's the Japanese Cherry and Chia Seed Oil, plus with a lot of wonderful, great oils. And for my styler, I'm gonna do a braid out. So I'm gonna do a six um, braid braid out, and I have my original six braid braid out video, and I'm gonna leave that in the cars. Highly impressed, blown away at my results, so hopefully I will also get good results with these products using the same technique. I'm thinking though, instead of six, it's like I need a braid at the crown, so my hair won't be, that part won't be so, definite, fine, so prominent, that's the best word. So that part won't be so prominent and I won't have to manipulate my hair a lot to cover up that middle part. So I think I'm gonna do seven and have a crown um, braid for the braid out. But my styler, I'm going to be using an oldie, but a goodie, their main choice, Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. I've had this in my arsenal for a while. This is probably my second container of this stuff it smells wonderful smells absolutely amazing um i've only used it for wash and goes i'm not used it for anything else so this will be the first time using this in that manner so i went ahead and sectioned off the first part of my hair so i have this half fourth and so i brought half of that fourth making this an eighth <laughs> even though i'm wanting to do seven braids but we'll see what the numbers let me make sure this little coil is yeah detangled we'll see what the numbers end up it might be a instead of a six or seven braid braid out it might be an eight we'll see all right i have some shed hair that are kind of hanging on i'm gonna remove before i try out this leave-in for the first time i'm gonna use about that much maybe that's a papaya scent i'm smelling i don't know the mask which is what I previously used in my hair. 
the scent of that was just kind of okay too. Just, well, I'm gonna say barely there. This scent isn't barely there, but it's not super pleasant. I will say it did a great job of helping make sure my hair is super moisturized. My hair feels really good. I've had a lot of definition right there. I would love to try to do like a leave-in conditioner wash and go if I was just going somewhere that day and wanted big hair. But look at that right there. That's looking like it could give me what I needed for a wash and go. Okay, that is not even why we're here, but I'm doing the extra talking. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna use is to try to seal in some of that moisture from the leave-in conditioner. I'm going to use the oil. And this oil, if I'm remembering correctly, is pretty thick, which it is. And this oil smells wonderful to me. I really like how this oil smells. So seal that in. Make sure my hair is detangled, which it absolutely is. And then I'm going to put on some of this Bright Out Glaze, finally using it the way it was intended instead of a wash and go. And y'all, the consistency of this, I mean, it's just ooey gooey. I don't know if that's too little. We'll see. And the Bright Out Glaze smells so good. I don't know if that's too little. I'm gonna just get it like the teeniest bit more. I mean, I'm just barely putting some on my finger. So let's go ahead and break this down into the three sections I need. Make sure to smooth it well on my roots. Making sure not to braid too, too tight where you're actually breaking your hair. I think I remember from that braid out that I did also not getting a lot of shrinkage, even though I'm doing this braid out on pretty much wet hair, but it was like that last time. My hair last time might have been dripping at some point, so at least my hair isn't dripping. I think I'm going to put a little bit more glaze, bread out glaze, once I get closer to the end, which I am getting closer now. Making sure to detangle, smooth out any parts so we get the best possible braid out that we can. Y'all, I'm going to say this. Braid outs were my thing transitioning. And then they just became not my thing as a natural. Okay, a little bit more glaze. But we can see, we're gonna see if we can make my thing again. Every once in a while. Maybe like once a month I can do a braid out. Like once a month a braid out, once a month a twist out, and let the rest washing goes. But I wanna throw in some more styles too, like some ride sets, as long as they're not fails. But I gotta get back in the swing of them if I don't want them to be a fail. So I'm just getting down to the little bitty little bit and I'm going to twist what seems to be the last two inches of hair. I don't even know if that was in frame me twisting with this last little bit. Okay, and then once it gets to almost oblivion or like nothing, I'm gonna twirl that in and here we go. All right, first of, I don't know how many braids I'm doing. <laughs> we'll see. The braids are complete. So I do have seven braids for this braid out. I went ahead and made sure I did one right here in the middle in the crown where um, when I get ready to separate it, you know, it won't be that huge part in the middle of my hair. So I already gave myself a side part. I don't know, I might flip it to this side once I take my braids out, but we will see. This will dry for two days. I do want to sit under the dryer for maybe like 20 minutes 
right now to kind of give it a head start on trying um because the weather's cold so i do need to go ahead and give it some time to dry it completely i will say really enjoyed this leave-in conditioner it has wonderful slip it is very moisturizing um it's very creamy yet has good give when applying to your hair the only thing i did not like about this it's not really a bad thing y'all it's the packaging this plastic is like industrial strength it is so hard to squeeze the bottle the product is thick so this is one of those leave-ins that when you get ready to use it you might want to set it prior to using it you might want to set it upside down so that product can get through because even squeezing it out it wouldn't be such an issue if the plastic wasn't so thick this is a thick type of plastic bottle so yeah um bright eye glaze i really have already enjoyed this throughout the time span of me owning it um i don't have much left i probably have enough for maybe one wash and go but i didn't use much in my hair and i'm wondering did i use too little of it <laughs> we won't be able to tell that until i get ready to take out my hair so yeah of course i love this oil this oil is wonderful it is very thick and um this i'm going to complain about the packaging <laughs> one more time but this pump once your fingers get slimy and all wet and super slippery from doing putting the products in um it's hard to pump this so that's the only flaw but this oil is absolutely wonderful i talk about this oil in a little bit more detail in my oils video for my collections so i'll be back it's two full days later and really two and a half and my hair is completely dry as you can tell i started already taking out my braids but i saved one right here to take out off camera i'm putting just a little touch of oil in my hand it's important to have your your fingers oiled up when you get ready to take out a twist out or a braid out to help against the inevitable frizz that will take place so got these fingers all oiled up and i'm going to proceed to take out this last braid that is in the front of my hair so far as you can tell from everything else that has been taken out i'm loving the results i separated my hair a little bit i'm not a huge separator when it comes to braid outs and twist outs because i think they're just going to just frizz on out of this world and they're already going to frizz now as you can also see this was a good combination of products i do not have any flaking my hair is not crunchy there's a slight hold i would say but there isn't like a really any type of cast but i do have a hole that i know will um be there for the rest of my work week so yeah okay so i've got these and what i'm going to do this is how i kind of loosely separate it i'll just pull my hair a little bit and I'll separate it where it wants to be separated. And that's enough for me. And then so I'll pull the end just a little bit and just kind of separate a little bit where I see fit without trying to get too much frizz in my hair. So this is the finished look. But I am going to do a little bit of picking not going to do the most most okay i'm going to flip this over so i don't mess up this front portion while i pick this to get a little bit more lift okay now i'm going to pick it on the underside so it still holds up a good amount of definition i'm going to adjust where i see fit fix some of these hairs that are kind of out of place and this is my finished result now i might have some chunkier pieces like this one right here and i might end up trying to separate them a little bit more but this is this is it it is shrunken yes it's not a super um stretched out 
braid out, but I'm still happy with the results. I think my hair looks good. All right, y'all, what do y'all think? So I will say this. I did really enjoy that leave-in. I think it's a it's a good leave-in. I like many of the other leave-ins from Main Choice. I would be interested in trying it as a uh, pre-poo, possibly. Definitely not a co-wash, but excuse me, maybe as a pre-poo. And I knew I was gonna like that um, braid out gel because or braid out glaze because I love that product for wash and go. It's one of my favorite wash and go gels. Um, so yeah, but it did give, do a good job. And remember, I didn't even use much of that product. I used just like a touch. So if you use more, you might would get more of a stretched out look, more even more definition. But I feel like I had enough definition. All right, guys, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.